Five Unusual People in the World, Part 59. Hello, you guys. I'm Keisha, and have a great day. This world is full of strange things, along with strange people. The stories around them surprise many. Surely, none of us, or very few of any, will be like them. Who are they? What are they capable of? Let's meet them through this video. Come and explore with me in this video. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number 5. Sandra Elaine Allen Sandra Elaine Allen was born on June 18, 1955, in Chicago, USA. She is taller than any player in the National Basketball Association. In fact, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, Sandy is the tallest woman in the world at 7 feet 7 inch. A tumor in her pituitary gland produced an excessive growth hormone and caused acromegaly. It was not until 22, after becoming famous because of the Guinness World Record, that Sandy was sponsored for free surgery. If not removing the tumor, the doctor said that Sandy would continue to grow taller, not knowing what the limit is. When Sandy Allen was 10 years old, she was 6 feet 3 inch tall. Even at home, where she grew up with her grandmother in Shelbyville, Indiana, her bed frame was so large that it couldn't fit in her bedroom, and it had to be placed in the dining room instead. At school, Allen felt ostracized as she was too tall to fit in and too uncoordinated to take advantage of her height in sports. Standing or walking for too long can cause blisters, one of which became so bad that she had to have her toe amputated. She died in the town of Shelbyville, Indianapolis, Indiana, USA. She was only 53 years old then. Miss Allen was hospitalized over the past few months with sepsis, diabetes, breathing problems, and kidney failure. When it comes to modeling, we will immediately think of slim girls with standard bodies and long straight legs. But do you know that? There is a new trend emerging and changing the fashion world's conception. Number 4. Clementine de Sos Clementine de Sos was born in 1988 in Toulouse, southwestern France. She has a different look from all of Louboutin's previous models. She is not only chubby, but her face is also imperfect with freckled skin and a gummy smile. But she is a world-famous model. Although a model of French origin, she had to leave her homeland many years ago and go to New York to look for opportunities because of her off-standard appearance. Clementine de Sous' figure and body size are not accepted by any French modeling agency. But now, the definition of beauty has changed. Girls with different looks are becoming the center of attention. Clementine de Sous can work in her own hometown and has also been on the cover of the French magazine, Le Prescripture. Clementine de Sous has gone through many challenges to have the opportunity to affirm her own beauty and uniqueness in the most prestigious magazines and brands in the world today. And she is the brand face for prestigious brands such as American Apparel, Christian Louboutin, Castelluna. Not everyone was born fortunate to have a healthy body because the evil disease still exists, especially in remote rural areas where medical care has not yet been developed. Number 3. Jaya Delvey Jaya Delvey, born in 2017, lives in the rural village of Velasad in Gujarat, a state in western India. She has a head with the size of a melon, twice the size of a normal baby's head, even larger than an adult's head, with a circumference of up to 28 inches, while normal person's is 14.9 inch. According to doctors, Delvey was born with hydrocephalus, a fluid building up inside the skull, increasing pressure on the brain inside that can kill her. It needs to be treated by implanting a drain into the brain to drain excess fluid to another part of the body where it can be reabsorbed more easily. The problem, however, is that Javi's family cannot afford for specialist care at a private hospital. The girl's father, Bavis Delvi, is a farmer who earns only 168 rupees, or about $2, so he and his wife, Jewanti, were forced to take the baby to a state-run medical center. The articles about this little girl have been published for more than five years, but now, 
There hasn't been no information from even Indian newspapers, so I can't provide her medical condition to you at the moment. So sorry about that. And if there is any information, I will mention in the following videos. Everyone has their own taste and style, and no one has the right to interfere with that. That's why we always see people with unusual clothes. Right now, we will meet one of those special. Number 2. Hideaki Kobayashi Schoolgirl uniforms are quite common in Japan, and many schoolgirls are happy to wear saifuku. However, one man decided to change the fashion trend and started wearing a school uniform. Not shy about going out in this look, his name is Hideaki Kobayashi. Self-identified as old man schoolgirl, Mr. Hideaki Kobayashi is originally a photographer and a designer for famous anime and cosplay models in Japan. Every time he appears on the street in schoolgirl dresses, Mr. Kobayashi always attracts the eyes of passerby. Many people also want to take photos with him. With a growing reputation, Kobayashi joined a group of celebrities in Tokyo called Chaos the Chapon, which specializes in artistic production and photography. He has attended events dedicated to characters of cartoons, anime, video games, movies, and manga. Host participants dress up in their favorite characters' costumes. He loves to travel in friends, and he wears that suit to travel too. In some African countries, polygamy is still practiced. Yes, you won't get it wrong. They actually have multiple wives, like in feudal times. That's why we will now meet this man. Number 1. Ancentis Akuku Mr. Ancentis Akuku lives in Homa Bay, Lake Victoria, Western Kenya, who beat all the men in the world to become a great dad. He is known by the nickname, Danger. Akuku is a legend in Kenya. He married his first wife, Dinah Akuku, in 1939, and the last one, Josephine Akuku, in 1992. Akuku is perhaps the Kenyan record holder with more than 100 marriages, more than 30 divorces, 106 sons, 104 daughters, and 1,267 grandchildren. With such a large family, Akuku built two elementary schools dedicated to educating his children and a church for his extended family to attend. He has also said that he is responsible for naming all of his children as a way for him to bond with them. After many years of fighting with diabetes, Akuku passed away on October 3rd, 2010. To ensure that all his descendants living around the world can visit him, the burial schedule has been postponed until the beginning of December of that year. I know there are many more strange things in this world. People of infinite height are those with eccentric taste. We will explore them together in the following videos. If you know someone special, comment below. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to watch more interesting videos. And now, goodbye and see you again.